to be help a local animal and this animal is a baby gorilla so um unfortunately um we like if of all the shipping issues we've been having i decided to make a lot of substitutions and hopefully that works hopefully that will help like this gorilla will like it so what we got here we got some kit we got some carrots, we got some prime rib. Maybe I should cut it for him. We got that, Mr. Mr. Um I'm give you a carrot. I'm gonna give you a carrot. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no! Noted, uh, girls, I don't think they like vegetables. I'd give him this meat, but I think he could, I don't think he'll like that. But today's film we're gonna be discussing involves girls as well. Today's film is Conga TNT. Let's jump right into it. So, it's come to this. It's come to this. I didn't think I'd see a movie that would just... It's just... Oh, gosh. This film is just... It's a ridiculously bad. I mean, ever so... Like, I mean, often it makes me feel like, say... Wow. And it makes me just think, like, say, I probably could, I probably could have done this better. I mean, if I had the technology, I probably could. And it makes me think, times, you know what, no, 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 I'm, I'm not explaining it anymore. Let's just get right into it. Today's film is Conga TNT. It was a film done by Brit Kelly. Who's done a lot of her films. And the last film he did was. Before this one that is. Voyager Shark. About a shark that's come back. To life from a. Voyager boy. But this one. This film. Is a action. Like Canadian action comedy. And it's based on a comic book. Comic book book series apparently basic but the type like you know the poster and all that stuff for it, it it's, it's you know it reminds me of thinking oh this is sort of trying to be like say rampage or you know like say kong island or something like that skull on or something like that but no this is this is absolutely Pretty bad. The cast and crews for this film includes. No, 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 no. I, I, I gotta finish this for a second. The film was directed by Brett Kelly. It was. It was also. The story was done by him. He also produced it. Along with two other people. Oh, and the pre screenplay was also done by the producer. So the cast and crews for this film, John Magalore as Mills. Slash Conga. Steve, Steve Casson as Dave. Chance Kelly as Alien. Jenny Russo as Blonde Lady. Jordan Randall as Phone Guy. Sebastian Gordon as Pilot. Slash Voice. Yeah, and then the, the cast simply, you know, it didn't really say who. All the every characters are. So, I'm gonna say this. Like, say, and sometimes when it comes to films, I will say, you know, I will say, hey, you know, sometimes the special effects are, you know, for an independent film, sometimes they, they tried. However, for this film, 
I'd say they tried about probably say on an effect scale. Probably say twenty percent. And you wanna know why I say twenty percent? Because I saw an effect that made me think real you you cannot be you cannot be serious. You're really trying to pull this off or do this. Like say there is a you know you know, like say gorilla there's a girl, you know, Conga. He comes back, he, you know, is given a formula and grows to gigantic sizes and you know is prevented by two kids. However, I kept on thinking, like, when I watched, watched the poster, and all that, when I played the poster, and also before, like, I, when I started film, film, I thought, oh wow, this, the effects kind of look okay. <laughs> and then, this sequence showed up. <laughs> Yes, you did just see a an effect trying to like you know filmmakers trying to use a stuffed gorilla as a you know gorilla. Yeah, I mean it's funny and at times it's just silly, but come on, really. I mean, he, you could have done better. Well, I mean, at least, well, later in the film, they go back to the good old classics of comedy. Well, not since probably the era of the Three Stooges, I'd say. Have we seen an effect oh, like this? Hey, boy. Give me. A man in a gorilla suit. Yeah. I have not seen that, that effect in, or, you know, that in many years. It makes, makes me think, like, say, wow, okay, we're bringing this back. It's good to see you, uh, uh, man in a gorilla costume. And I'm just, at this entire time, I'm just thinking, say, okay, so that's how bad the effects can be, but the acting, my god, this is even, this is about as bad as something, like, probably say an example would be, picture say, the acting from a asylum film, but going down even further to say the acting from say like you know even for even lower than asylum heck even asylum film acting is better than this and uh, like one step below this would be acting well heck acting in some Pornographic films would be better than this. Like, I mean, acting even from the great, like not okay, the great, the great Linkara. Yep, it's better than that. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not gonna actually show clips from Linkara. No. But yeah, I'd say the acting is better. The actors probably not as great as the ca cast from say Hick. I'll say it. the acting actors from the nostalgia critic crew are better than this. But yeah, like even there's some, the actors and the the kids in this film. 
they're they're I mean they're doing their best. They're kids. There's even one where they're pushing Kanga like on, on he's on a monkey bars. Too short to spin it with and like, yeah, that should probably just like it's behind the scene and going like, say, yeah, that's right, keep pushing the doll, keep pushing the doll. That's it, kids. You're you're gonna you're doing great. You're gonna be some great mini little actors one day. But um, I gotta say, yeah, this is this was pretty bad, in all honesty, um. Like, the one character I thought that gives me the most laugh was a sequence when a general who basically just has an eye patch, um, there's a sequence where he is just, like, he grabs a phone out of his house, takes it to another room, like, he's expecting a call, about to have some, some cereal, we do a bit of classic comedy. Yep. Oh. I, I gotta say that, I mean, even though this film is awful, you can probably have, like, a, like a great movie night with your buddies with this, I bet. However, uh, the one moment where I just feel like I kept on thinking, like, say, okay, this is, this is pretty bad, and this makes me think, like, okay, what, this makes me think, like, I'm now interested in seeing what this guy does next. In fact, I would like to see this guy try to do as many monster movies like this. Instead, like, say, what if next time Brick Kelly does a film that's making, like, this, like, about snakes? And then in the, like, say, a sequence, like, it has, like, one of those wooden sna rubber snakes and does that. And then they use CGI on it. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm gonna say this movie is just... I'd say this is pretty bad, but it has a lot of enjoyment you can get out of it, in all honesty. So, what do you guys think? Have you seen Kong and TNT? Oh, um, heck, even, like, say, um, some of the audio for this film is, can be kind of bad. Like, the opening entrance for this film has, like, a pilot, and it sounds like this most over- 80 yard nonsense you probably will ever hear. Where, yeah, like a group of characters are in a plane, and you can tell just beca because, like, say, when you see pilots, you don't really s expect the like, clarity when they're in these kind of planes. But, yeah. It sounds exactly like it's 80 yard. You know, like, whether it's, like, audio, like, from after the film has been done and all that. But, and honestly, this is all I've got to pretty much say. This film is pretty enjoyably bad. But what are you guys' thoughts? Put your thoughts in all those comments down below. Because, like I said, I've been saying, gotta keep all those subscribers and all those reviews. If you want to season three, because, you know, well, we guys see if you guys actually want it. But we'll see you next time. See you.